Howdy, howdy, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Admin, and welcome back to another episode of the Data Pack Survival. This is episode 11, and in today's video, we made a whole lot of progress that you can probably see behind me, but we'll get into that in just a little bit. If you have yet to see the previous video, we made a tree farm. So go check out that if you're interested in the process behind it. But I have been using the tree farm quite a bit and we've collected a whole assortment of logs. Um, so much so that we actually used up pretty much our entire bone meal supply. Um, so yeah, we're pretty much out of bone meal. Yeah, just, just about to run out. So. Um, I still need more logs, so because of that, we're going to be getting a new sword. And I say getting, but I really mean that I already got. And that is a loot sword. So the loot sword can be crafted with four diamond blocks and four gold blocks and a diamond sword. And essentially, it is a diamond sword, but with a looting five enchantment. So normally the max looting level you can get is looting three but this allows us to get all the way to looting 5. And if you're not familiar with what looting does, essentially it will make mobs drop more items. And the reason why this is important is because our tree farm eats through a whole lot of bone meal, and if we want to supply it, we need to spend time at our skeleton grinder, and to do that, we need to of course kill skeletons, and so we can save a fair amount of time by killing them with a looting 5 sword as opposed to a looting 3 sword. So yeah, I ended up doing a fair amount of grinding of skeletons in between episodes, and we got a decent amount of bone meal. I already ran it through the system, and that's how we got all of the logs that we have here. But I believe we also have at least a full nother chest more of logs, and I even sold some to some of the other server members. Yeah, our log chest down here is pretty filled up. So that's not all I did though. As you might notice, there are loads of hoppers in the base which of course all required some of the logs that we had. So I got a whole lot of logs and now we have a sorting system. You might recall in the previous video, we were making the tree farm in order to actually get all of the hoppers that we would need to make our uh, sorting system. And now we are actually able to do so and I already put it all together. So this was a lot of work. I had to configure a whole bunch of sorters and there's, there's this sorter here. And then there's another one behind these row of chests. And then down here, there was this row of sorting all the way around here. Of course, I've already, I have already did those and we can use our ender diamond sword to hop up here. And so I configured all of the filters across every single row. We can check out what that is like up here. So here we have a filter for quartz and emeralds but some of these are not configured, so they just um, are completely filled up. And then once, once we actually have like the items to put in, I'll configure the filters and then, then we'll be good to go. And so this has an input and an output and the input is these five chests right here. And then the output, it comes back all the way up this water stream, goes across these hoppers and goes into these five chests. Well, technically it goes into these four chests because if I had a hopper right there, it would um, catch some of the items on like the lip of the hopper. There's a whole bunch of space, I guess, concerns or constrictions, that's the, that's the word, due to how the outside of the building is. So I had to um, squeeze this just barely through here and that meant that um, unfortunately couldn't have that hopper, but just put in a symmetry chest, just, just because. So yeah, this was a whole lot of work. I've actually never built an auto sorting system, so it's finally done though. So anyway, we can actually probably follow this if you're interested. So uh, the hoppers go along here and then they go down into this. And I've been, I used droppers in places I didn't need hoppers. So this pushes down and then this will pull. So then it goes all the way around and then that sends it to right here where then we send them back down a little bit further. And then that goes into the next row. So then it goes all the way around again. And as you can see, the redstone and all, everything else is really tightly compact through here. So this one then comes all the way to here. And then we head down again. And then we go over a little bit. And I believe um, I ran into a couple issues with space requirements. So it goes 
and it curves around here and then it goes into this and I, I started placing furnaces on top of all of the things that I could if you didn't know placing furnaces on top of a hopper makes it not lag quite as much so then this goes all the way around and eventually it ends up right um, here and then that goes and then it goes into this dropper which we have just a little simple clock and then that shoots out all the items and then go up and then they snake around oops try again that was literally so much worse anyway um let's see so yeah the water itself it has to snake around multiple times um, so it goes up this way, snakes around, snakes over, up, over. Anyway, long story short, this was pretty complicated and it was also a lot of fun. So now if I place any items that I want sorted into any of these chests, it will go through, go check every single filter, and if it does not succeed, it will then come back up here and end up in these chests like this iron bar did. Um, that being said, I did actually put in a ton of time between episodes working on this. And I've also been spending a ton of time creating new data packs for all of you guys. So this video is going to be a bit shorter because I don't have all that long to actually record, but I do have some stuff to show. So I figured I'd get this video done and ready for you guys so that you have content. And I'm also probably going to be shortening these videos down to maybe around uh, 10 to 12 minutes because it's been kind of hard to find the time to actually be able to record but yeah so now that we have our sorting system I've actually been starting to hook up some of our farms to automatically send items over so we already had the iron farm and it was sending the items over via a water stream um, I had to change up the, the method just a little bit though it's not too different it will then I just had to essentially feed it into the filter itself but we also, of course, have our sugarcane farm and cactus farm over in this tower. And this is still working. Um, for some reason, in between, I'm, I'm not really sure when this happened, but our sand and gravel farm doesn't seem to be working. But I was planning on remaking this anyway into an actual tower and then hooking it up to our fil filter system anyway. And so... Um, we will, we will need to do that at some point. That will probably happen in the near future because um, we're actually running pretty low on gravel and sand. So still need to do something with the villagers. Um, they have quite the army of golems down here that keep falling in and um, I'm just kind of letting, letting them build up because I'm um, kind of scared to try to kill them. But um, what else? That's right, so we have our creeper farm location off the coast right here, and I hadn't realized this when actually making this, but it is also a slime chunk, which might be a bad thing, because I think that might slow down our creeper farm rate, possibly, but we now have the wood required to actually make this farm, so I think I will probably end up doing that fairly soon, because, well, Having, having gunpowder is extremely important and would let me fly around with rockets much more liberally. So probably in between episodes, I will try to do that and see if I actually can find the time to do so. Because that would be cool. Though, come to think of it, I am totally not at our creeper farm. This is our slime farm that I never finished. So I should probably at some point add the iron golems to this and hook it up to our sorting system and then actually have a, a working slime farm. Let's go check out the, the creeper farm uh, hole. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention it. In between episodes, I actually updated a couple of packs. Um, I updated, let's see, I updated more pearls twice. I updated uh, more swords twice. Uh, more, more boots once, more helmets once. And, um, what else did I update? Oh, more bows once. So yeah, I've been hard at work <laughs> updating loads of data packs. Um, I had some time that I wanted to spend creating data packs and had a lot of fun doing so. And so yeah, now we have quite a lot more stuff on here. So um, let's see, here's the actual creeper farm. 
Um, I still need to add all of the layers, and I think I need to tame up some cats and whatnot. So um, that that will be a fun challenge. I think you know who had gotten started on uh, taming some cats. I'll just need to find them and um, continue doing so. So um, anyway. Yep, there's pretty much a ton of progress that I have made so far, and um, yeah, we're, we're getting places. So there, there's the cats, cool. Um, I don't think we actually have the fish that we need to tame them, but um, I'll, I'll get this all, all done in between episodes. So in the next episode, we should have a creeper farm up and running, which would be quite nice. So then we could just spam rockets. And I've also, well, put off going mining for netherite without having TNT and so once we have a creeper farm and a sand farm that's back up and running we can just go and blow up everything in the nether so that will be a whole lot of fun I plan on doing that possibly in the next episode or maybe two episodes from now so you have that to look forward to but with that in mind that is pretty much all I have time for for today's video but sorry if it felt kind of rushed that's because well it is kind of rushed so Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like on it and hit the subscribe button if you want to make sure not to miss out on future content on the channel. So I'll see you guys all in the very next one. Thanks for watching.